Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I do to get my hair to look a little bit thicker and a little bit fuller than it naturally is. I already made a video called My Secret Weapons for Volume and in that video, I kind of show you the products that I use to get my hair to look bigger and more voluminous. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go watch that video. I'm going to leave the little info link above because um, I feel like that video goes hand in hand with what I'm going to talk about in this video. So yeah, my hair hair is naturally fine in texture, um, fine to medium, so I guess average. Um, it's not thin at all, but it's definitely not thick. The funny thing is, I've had a lot of people tell me, oh my gosh, you have so much hair. And of course, that's when my hair is big and curly. Um, and I actually tell them, no, not really. Um, I don't have a lot of hair. I just know how to manage it to make it look a little bit more full. And I've had a lot of comments from people who have similar hair textures to mine or even people who have thinner hair um, and they ask me how do I get volume so hopefully these tips can help you guys so yeah if you want to see what I do to get my hair to look a little bit thicker then just keep watching okay so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair um, it's still wet as you can see and what I'm going to use first is my Aveda thickening tonic now I use this product in my volume video that I just mentioned so I didn't really show you how I use it I just talked about it so I want to show you the products that I use and how I use it to get my hair to look fuller so this thickening tonic is legit it works it's expensive I will say that but as you can see well maybe you can't see but I am on the very bottom which makes me so sad but that tells you how much I love this stuff and how much I use it so what I'm gonna do is just spray it all over my hair okay now I'm using my handy dandy Denman brush and this is to help distribute everything that I just sprayed I want to make sure that I get all of my hair covered with the thickening tonic so the brush helps to do that okay so for the next step I don't always do this but I usually do it when I want my hair to look significantly fuller um, or bigger so what I'm gonna do is part my hair starting from my ears and then going up and what I'm gonna do with this section is bring it forward. So I'm going to, as you can see, you can use a comb as well. I don't have a rat tail comb, so I kind of just either use this or my fingers. So you wanna get the hair even behind your ears. And now I'm gonna use my Denman brush to help bring it forward. Um, the reason that I bring this part of my hair forward is because it directs my roots to kind of go in the opposite direction that they're normally going. So I'm gonna style my hair with my hair brought forward, but once it's fully dry, I'm gonna put it back. It's gonna be lifted and it's gonna be much more voluminous because you know my roots aren't drying downward, they're drying upward. And this helps especially if you have bangs. I have bangs, so I'm gonna have some nice fringe around my face. If you don't have bangs, that's totally okay, you can still do this, but once your hair is dry, you're just gonna have to, you know, part it on the side or part it in the middle or whatever, but it's still gonna be very big. Okay, so now I have my hair directed to the front for the most part the line doesn't have to be perfect by the way it could look messy it's okay um, the back section is fine it's just doing its thing going backwards okay so now I'm just gonna clip up this front section here the next product I'm gonna use on my hair is diva curls believe in miracle curl plumper if you watch my videos you already know I love this thing I talk about it in a lot of my videos and this is also in my volume video and I use this especially on days where I want my hair to look fuller because it really does what it says it does it's for added texture and volume it really does plump up my curls and makes them look big and fluffy and kind of full and I put it before any other styling products because even though this is a gel consistency it's not made to hold your hair on its own because I've tried it before in the very beginning and it has no type of hold but it's not meant for that it's not meant to have have, you know hold it's meant to make your hair big and voluminous and that's exactly what it does so I will start putting that on my hair so I take a nice little glob of it and I'm just gonna distribute that to I'll put this down to all parts of my hair 
this style looks crazy okay now that I have that done I'm gonna move on to the next product and I'm gonna use a very little bit of up north naturals curl ease styling lotion and I really like this um, styling lotion because it's so light it's like the lightest cream I own I like to use a little bit of cream when styling my hair because I feel like it adds more moisture than when I just use gels alone so I like this because like I said super super lightweight and it has natural ingredients like rose water aloe and grapeseed oil and I feel like that helps to soften my hair as well when I'm going for this fuller look I don't want to put too much creams in it or even heavier creams thicker creams because that could weigh my hair down so I'm gonna use a little bit of this I just did three pumps and you can see how light it is like you can't even see it on my hands <laughs> so I'm gonna add this in especially on my ends Now that that's in, the next item I'm gonna use on my hair is Diva Curls Ultra Defining Gel. You guys should already know by now, this is one of my favorite gels, like, ever. This is top 10 for me. Like, I trust this gel because I feel like it never gives me a bad hair day. So, if I want a specific look, I kind of go to this gel. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't have to use this gel. You don't have to use the exact products I'm using, except this. If your hair is fine I would say to definitely use this but as for the gel and the cream you don't have to use these specific um, products they just help me but the technique and the regimen is something that I would suggest so you can try it with different products and see what works best for you anyways so now I'm gonna use some of the gel but here's what I'm gonna do for the front section I'm going to rub the gel together in my hands put it in my hair while directing it forward and what I want to do with the gel is to finger coil um, some of the top section of my hair because if I don't then my hair would kind of dry up too flat up here so I want to do some finger coils to help define the curls and I'll just do this you know around the front section Okay, now that I added the Diva Curl Defining Gel all over my hair, now I'm going to scrunch. And at this point, if you're noticing your hair is getting a little dry as you're styling, make sure to add water because you want your hair to be very wet when styling. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my hair because I feel like, see, this section is already starting to dry. Now once I'm done scrunching, I'm going to use my microfiber towel to scrunch a little bit more and kind of just help absorb the excess water. And now it's time to diffuse. Whoa. <laughs> So I'm going to diffuse my hair until it's dry. And of course when you're diffusing, make sure you're flipping your hair upside down from side to side. You don't want your roots to stay uh, one straight way because that's how it's going to look flat. So you kind of want it to go back and forth like that so it could stay um, elevated and voluminous. Okay, my hair is finally dry, took long enough. <laughs> now I'm gonna um, separate the big, thick curls that clump together during the styling process. Um, by separating your curls, it helps them look a lot fuller. So my hair is looking good, it's pretty much uh, dry, but we're not finished yet. Um, if you have bangs, you want to bring them forward. I just got mine trimmed actually, that's why they are a little bit short. So now I'm going to take my pick, turn my hair upside down and fluff it out.
Now I'm gonna fluff out the bottom part of my hair. So I learned this trick from Sarah Angius or Angius, I don't know how to say her name, but she's like super popular on Instagram and YouTube. She does really cute hairstyles and her curl pattern is actually pretty similar to mine. So I saw her do this in one of her videos and I was like, wow, I never even thought to try this, but I've done it a few times and I like the way it looks. So what she does is takes the pick and puts it to the bottom part of her hair. So I'll just take a little section like this. She puts it through and then lifts up and then kind of just keeps doing that and it really does make the hair look more full and thicker so I'll show you and if you can't tell already I'm definitely not going for the super defined look <laughs> I always prefer volume over definition if I had to choose okay so you see the difference look at this side versus this side so this is definitely a trick that I do that I think works for sure if you have fine hair or medium textured hair um, and you want your hair to look thicker it's pretty much just teasing your hair going upward so there's that side and now I'm gonna do this side and you don't want to be too rough because you don't want to like ruin your curls or anything like that but just a little bit of fluffing. Okay, then I shake it out a little bit with my fingers. Now I'm almost finished, not yet. So finally, the last thing that I'm putting in my hair is AG Hair Care's Dry Lift and Dry Lift. This is a texture and volume paste. I also talk about this. I talk about pretty much almost everything that I use today in my volume video, but um, you know, this video is talking about specifically the technique and how I use them. So anyway, I'm gonna take a little bit of this paste. So what I do is rub it between my fingers and now I'm going to add this to my crown area where I want volume to be. So because I already picked out my hair, it is lifted, so the paste is just gonna help keep it there and keep it that way. So I'm just massaging it into my roots. Okay guys, so this is pretty much it. This is what I do to my hair when I want it to look bigger and fuller and thicker uh, than it normally does. And if you have fine hair or even thin hair, these techniques can definitely help you and the products too. And of course, if you have layers, that would definitely help in making your hair look more full. Um, if you don't, then it'll kind of just be all one length, unless your hair is naturally thick then you don't even need these tips. But if it's not, then you definitely want to get some layers like in your crown area because that helps, you know, lift it. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any other suggestions on videos that I should make, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment below if you've tried these products before or if you plan on trying them and plan on trying this technique. Don't forget to share this with your other curly friends if you think they need to see this video. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos if you're not already. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.